Hi, everyone. Um, today, I want to introduce our papers, Self-Attention Generative Adversarial Networks. This is a good idea. And at first, I want to introduce the background a little bit. Um, for the conventional get DC gangs, uh, we have two components. The first is the a generator, and the second is the discriminator. Uh, they are playing the zero-sum game. For the generator, you want to generate the fake image as real as possible. For the discriminator, uh, you want to uh, find out which is real and which is fake. So both of them uh, use the conventional convolutional network. So for the uh, conventional convolution, what's wrong with that? At first, it did. Uh, it does excel as synthesizing image class with a fewer structural constraints. However, it fails to capture the geometric or structural patterns. And um, one possible reason is that it, uh, it requires the number of filters to capture the features. And if you want to capture more precise feature, it needs to apply a deeper networks or you need to increase the number of features, uh, which means that it will lower the computational efficiency. So in this paper, the author want to solve the long-term uh, dependency for the convolution. And what did this paper do? Uh, in this paper, the author at first, as the self-attention blocks to the generator and the discriminator, and then uh, the author also employ two tricks on the training. Uh, first, it's called a spectral normalization, and the second, the author uh, is called TTUR. The author use different learning rates for the generator and the discriminator. In the upcoming slides, we introduce more details about that. And what does self-attention do? Um, here I briefly describe steps for the self-attention. Uh, at first, it employs three one-by-one -one convolutional on the images. So the, this is the input image X. So it applies three different convolutional operation. And the first two F and G, it, uh, it, are, uh, it multiple both. And then apply the softmax on softmax on the result to generate the attention map. Um, here, I want to get the distance uh, among pixels, and then it multiply the attention max and the third res, uh, results, and then to get the self attention feature maps. It, it costs old here, and final, uh, finally, it will uh, times the learnable parameter gamma to the uh, output, and pr then plus the uh, input. So for the attention maps, uh, it represents the collision among pixels. Um, here, multiple two matrix. It means that uh, we want to compute the this distance among the pixels. And each row of the uh, attention maps represents one kind of attention. Let's say we, we have three rows. It means that we have three kinds of attentions. And then we want to uh, file the self-attention feature maps. Here we build a relationship between each pixel to the whole feature maps. And here, why we call self-attention? Because we times the, this uh, feature to the attention feature map. For each pixel, we will file the relationship uh, between each pixel to the, this feature map. So that's why we call the self-attention. And then after we get the O and the output, we, here we show the final loss function and this this is uh, very similar to the loss function of the game. And let's reveal some results. Um, here, the author uh, ran randomly assigned the 
different color to different types of uh, features. The first column is the originally image, and the rest column is for the first kind of for the uh, attention map. So we, we can see this is the red uh, red spot area. This means one type of features. This means another type of features. For the conventional convolutional network, it may uh, treat the two features are the same. For example, they may uh, think th these two are the same feature because they are close. But uh, when we, uh, after we apply the self-attention, we, we can easily find out that this is different. Even it has far distance, the sky is a different feature to the uh, eyes of the dog. Uh, we, we capture that uh, the purpose of this paper is to want to uh, solve the long-term dependency of the conventional convolutionals. You want to generate more precise images. So here, um, you want to distinguish the different features. So the next, we want to introduce uh, what, what does the uh, spectral normalize station and the TTUR do. Mm, for in the experimental result here, and the first column, it shows the baseline, uh, which applies the only, uh, only applies the spectral normalization or the discriminator. And the second column, it applies the spectral normalization on both generator and the discriminator. The third column, it uh, also applies TTUR based on the second column. And know that this uh, two technique is uh, checks for training. And at originally SN gam only as the uh, spectral normalization to the discriminator. And here we can see that the loss function is unstable. And later this paper also add the spectral normalization to the generator for stabilizing the training. So in the second column, we can see the loss function uh, is, uh, oh, this is uh, for the FID and it's more smoothly. And in, in the third co column, and also the author applied the, uh, used different learning rate for the generator and the discriminator in the command, Game. When we change the conventional game, we change the generator one times and we also need to change the discriminator five times. Uh, and here, if we use a lower learning rate on the generator, we don't need to change the discriminator so many times. So it, uh, this technique can speed up the training for the discriminator. And here we also want to show some results. Here is the comparison of the cell attention and the residue blocks on games. And here presents three types of comparison. The, we, uh, I use different card to highlight that. The first, uh, it shows that the attention, uh, adding the attention at high layer is better. It should increase better. Oh, uh, I forget to mention in this paper, it applied two types of uh, evaluation metric. The first is the FID. The second is uh, inception scores. And for the FID, you want to measure the quality of the image. The lower, the better. For the inception score, it measure the uh, clarity and the diversity of the image. Is the higher, the better. So in the blue bounding box, it shows the attention really helps because it's better after applying the self-attention. And the, in the red round, uh, branding box, it shows the attention is better than just adding the same number of parameters to convolutional. Know that, and this paper want to solve the long-term dependency of the conventional convolutional. So if it increase the number of uh, filter or apply deeper network, it does help improve the uh, performance, but 
on the other hand, it also uh, lower the computational efficiency. So here, if they use, uh, it shows that if they use the same parameter, it means the 64 by 64 attention map. In the result shows that the self attention has uh, better performance. In conclusion, in this paper incorporate a self attention mechanism into game frameworks and the self intention model is effective in modeling long range dependencies. Spectral normalization applies to the generator, stabilized game training, TTUR speed stop, uh, speed stop training of regular uh, discriminators. And this model achieved the state of the art performance on class conditional image generation on ImageNet. Thank you.